Today we want to see how we should uh, pack our backpacks for a camping trip. But you can use some dry bags, it's your preferral. You want to put all your soft stuff, like your sleeping bag, your robes. You want to put it somewhere that's in between, kind of like in between your sleeping bag. And in this blue one, I'll put everything that's related to cooking and eating. These are, this is the item that I frequently use and I want to be able to uh, get them out of my backpack as soon as I open it. My knife will go on the side. I like to put all my electronics because uh, these are the stuff that I frequently use and I want to be in reach for me with just a zipper with opening a zipper. Okay, um, so today we want to see how we should uh, pack our backpacks for a camping trip. So I'm going to be fully seated here for this entire video and I'm going to show you what to do. So the very first thing is that you have a flat, like you have an empty backpack. You want to put an, a sort of insulation layer here. I use a nylon plastic uh, bag, but you can use some dry bags. It's your preferral. I don't know what you want to do, but I've chosen to put this uh, plastic bag here because you need some sort of insulation. This will prevent your stuff from getting wet. This is, this is highly recommended because uh, even though if you're using a rain cover, if you're using a poncho, you're gonna have this extra protection layer. So the very first thing is to put in a nice uh, plastic insulation here. Um, at the very bottom of your backpack, you want to put all your soft stuff, like your sleeping bag, your robes, um, stuff like that these the, the things that are soft because all the weight is gonna uh, be put on your back and you don't want to hurt your lower back you want it to be soft and you want it to be nice and comfy so what i'm gonna do here is i'm gonna put my sleeping bag in the thing about putting in a sleeping bag is that you want to tuck it in as hard as you can you don't want to roll it you don't want to you know tidy it up you just you just have to stuff it in i want to stuff in my sleeping bag I'm going to press it as hard as I can. There shouldn't be any kind of like hiding up involved because you know it's going to be messy. This in this way the sleeping bag is going to take the least space. So now uh, half of my backpack is full just for putting in the sleeping bag and that's the way it should work. After, the, after that next you want to put your harder stuff like um, your plates your cooking setup, your stove. I'm gonna put in the plate. I'm gonna put in the cook set. I'm gonna put in the canister. And then you're putting in the canister because it's because you're dealing with gas. Uh, you're gonna put it somewhere that's in between, kind of like in between your sleeping bag. Um, then. I'd have these two dry bags. This is kind of like the organizer for your stuff. In the yellow one, I'll put all the bits and bits that are uh, easy to lose, like uh, my fork, spoon, like my soap, some like like my comb, some stuff like that. The small saw that I have, the small knife I have, all these small bits I put them in this dry bag, and in this blue one i'll put everything that's related to cooking and eating like the tea bag the coffee the fire starter the um, the stove not the canister the stove the head the, the, the part that goes on top so i'll squeeze them i'll close them like this and then next i'll put them inside this bag you see it's full. I still have got something left, some space left. Then there are some bits that would not go in. And I've got these two lights that you may see in my other video. These are the lights that I put inside my top or on top of my tent. I put them in a dry bag because like last night it was raining and I, don't, and I did not want them to get wet. So I put them in a dry bag, I put them in. And there's some bits and pieces like my jacket I'd like to put them at t on top because 
these are this is the item that I frequently use and I want to be able to uh, get them out of my backpack as soon as I open it so this is what I put on top so you see I started with the softer uh, materials down the bottom and then in the middle I put my harder stuff and then on top again I put some softer stuff like jackets and rain covers and everything Okay, now I'd like to leave a little space in my backpack. Um, I will close it right here. But you might ask that where, did, where does the tent go? Where does the other stuff go? I've got still plenty left. Uh, first of all, I do come with car. I do travel with car and I park the car near where I sit. Like you can see that. Uh, so things like chair, like the table that you see I use, uh, these are the things that, you know, you cannot take when you're hiking alone or you're just going to hike. You're just going by walk. So I do not recommend them. But what I recommend is the a small table like this. You've seen me use it. This will go on the side. Uh, my knife will go on the side. This lamp that I use, this will be attached. To my bag like so and then your backpack will come with a top with a head so on a head on a brain of the backpack i'd like to put all my electronics because um, these are the stuff that i frequently use and i want to be in reach for me with just a zipper, with opening a zipper. So everything like my GoPro goes in here, my power bank and all other stuff will go in here and I'll keep them secured here and I'll make sure that they're not, I, I usually put them in a dry bag and then I put them in here because if they get wet, they're electronics, you know. And then the stuff like tents, everything that you cannot fit in your backpack should be attached to the sides and the bottom of your tent and the bottom of your backpack. Um, so, things like my sleeping mat, there it is, I will roll it, mine is a rollable one, but the others I see they have like this Acarion one that they would go on the side of your tent as well. So I will just simply roll it, I would put it in, the, in this bag, and then I would simply attach it to the side of my backpack see i'll secure it with the strap and then yeah another strap and on this side of my backpack i'll put in my tent this will roll and then i'll put it here and then for the top as well I'll roll the tarp in its bag and I'll put it at the bottom and I'll secure it with the straps. So that would be it. And there would be nothing else left to uh, pack and you'll be good to go. You'll be fine. It would weigh about 10 to 11 kilos eventually. Uh, that's actually given the system of the backpack and the way that it's, um, it's going to be weighed on the lower back. Um, it's going to be nothing. So, not nothing, but you know, you're, you're, you'll get by with it. So, this is how you pack a backpack. And I'll see you in the next one. Be safe, be nice. Thanks.